This will be a very short video. I'm making this on November 15th. This is about Albert Lee's world famous earthquake, for real, and shadow zones. The Earth's core is able to block S waves. They can't travel through the liquid outer core, so they, when they meet the core, everything below there here is blocked. So the S waves cast a large round shadow on the surface of the Earth. Nobody from there to there would be able to detect the S waves from an earthquake that I have up here at the top. P waves can travel through solids and liquids. So when they reach the core, they, they can go through it, but they're refracted, they're bent. When they enter the core, they bend, and when they exit the core, they bend. So there's a shadow zone for the P waves over here and over there. What I need people to think about is think this 3D. What would that look like at the surface? Here's a diagram of it. A complete ring on going all the way around the world on the opposite hemisphere from where the earthquake was. Here's the 3D model. If the earthquake is here, the combined PNS shadow zone will be like this. Okay? And there in the center is out is the earthquake's antipode the opposite spot in the world is called an antipode every place on the earth has an antipode it's the spot on the other side okay so 